So we are starting our revision with August 2023. Um, and uh, we are starting with question number 2C, uh, discussing about the matters of VAT. It's very important to know how can we be able to compute our VAT. Um, and uh, basically from the knowledge which we have gathered during our time when we were doing our classes, um, it is very crucial to understand that uh, um, the VAT is ju just a tax on the value added and uh, it is normally indirect taxes um, which are basically collected by the traders on the behalf of the governments. Um, and uh, you know very well it is normally or it is usually including the price of goods or services. Now, one of the key things that we are going to be learning um, or we are going to be doing straight away um, it, it issues regarding to the input and output taxes due to the, our formula, which we normally use when you're computing our VAT. So what is an input tax? And uh, when you're discussing about an input tax, we know very well, it normally means the tax paid or payable on the supply to registered person on any goods or services to be used by him for business purposes. Uh, basically, you can also talk about the tax paid by a registered person on the importation of goods or services to be used by him for the purpose of the business. But now we are going to be discussing about also the output taxes. And these are the taxes due on the taxable supplies. I normally see when we are selling our products, when we sell our products, um, I normally see um, these products which we are being sold, uh, discussing about uh, the input, uh, the, 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 they normally discuss about the, PA, the VAT, on the on the on the items which you are going to be purchasing, so it is very important for us to understand the uh, uh, to understand that um, um, we are going just to be analyzing our, our aspects of uh, um, we are going to be analyzing the aspects of the input and output taxes. But that being said and done, um, it is very crucial for us uh, to do this question as easy or as as quick as we can. So I just wanted to start it. Uh, let us start this question very quickly. Um, I know this question is uh, is visible from your ends. So we are discussing about Baraka traders. So let us start the question. Let us start this question very quickly. So the first question uh, discusses about, um, the examiner is asking us uh, to do the output taxes. So um, we are doing August 2023, question number 2C. And it is very simple to understand that to get the VAT here, the VAT payable, so refundable, we normally take, right? We normally take our output taxes, which are basically generated from the sales, minus the input taxes. We normally get them from our purchases. Right. So in this case, the examiner is asking you a very simple question. Can you be able to calculate our output tax? Can you be able to calculate the output tax? And uh, this is the format which we normally use. Uh, we normally start with the nature, the nature of the assets. Right. We discuss about the nature of assets. Uh, we have qualifying costs. We have VAT rates, then we have VAT amount. So what is the nature of the supply? Now, when you're discussing about the, the output taxes, we are discussing about our sales. So the sales, I can see um, uh, we, we had some sales on December 2022. We have some sales which are local. They are calling them local. But there is an important point which you are supposed to be checking on here. 
Not number two, where we are being told that all transactions are inclusive of VAT at the rate of 16% we are applicable. So it means that our sales which we sold, uh, which are local, uh, they are already inclusive. So in this case, to get an inclusive figure here, this should be exclusive of VAT. The exclusive of VAT. So in this case, we are saying, let us take 11 at 1,000, right? 11 at 1,000, return this to 100. So we multiply here with 100 over 116, right? So that we can be able to gross, uh, to get the gross amount, right? Let us look on the, what will be the gross amount there? This is our gross amount. So I just say 11 at 1 times 100 divided by 116. Getting 975,000. Thank you. 975,000. Now you can tax at the rate of 16% times 0 0.16, getting 156,000. Right? Do we have any other sales? I can see we have some exports here. Sales, which are exports, we know very well. Our exports are always rated, so you put direct 250 there, zero percent, we normally get zero. Then uh, we have exempt. Exempt sales, right? The exempt sales of ours amounts to 350,000, right? They are exempted and you normally put dashes there. So what are our total supplies here? What is also our totals here is 156,000. So 975 plus 250 plus 350, getting 15,075,000. 15,075,000, right? Now let us look on the input taxes. And these are our purchases. The format looks similar. So in this case, here we have the nature of, as the nature of assets. We have the nature of assets. We have the qualifying costs. We have the VAT rates. Then we have the VAT amount. The VAT amount there. Now, in this case, when you look on the, the information provided, we can start from the, the beginning. We start with the purchases. We know very well, our purchases normally have, uh, one minute, please. So, um, let's start with the purchases. Um, the purchases that we have been given as per the questioning up here. So you come here and you tell me the purchases provided here amounts to how much? Seven twenty-five thousand. So on the same upper, seven twenty-five thousand. I multiply with a hundred over one sixteen, right? Seven twenty-five times a hundred divided by one sixteen. Getting 625,000. 625,000. Once you multiply by 16%, how much are you getting? You are getting 100,000. Next, we have things like uh, return outwards. 
right? You know very well the return outwards normally reduces your purchases. So how much is this? Um, return outwards we have eight thousand times a hundred over one sixteen. Just give me one minute. I make a call and then we continue. So let us continue. Um, now after our purchases, we have return outwards. I have said they are they normally reduce your your purchases. So it will be fifty thousand times a hundred divided by one sixteen. We are getting fifty thousand. Yeah, fifty thousand. Sixteen percent, right? Fifty thousand. You multiply by zero point one six. You are getting here 8,000. You deduct it. Then we, we see we have catering expenses. Right. The catering expenses, what do we have? We have 87,000. Times 100 over 116. So 87 times 100 divided by 116, we get 75,000. 16%. You're going to be getting around uh, 12,000. Oh, yeah. After the catering expenses, we have repairs of delivery van. Repairs, repairs of the delivery van, how much do we have? I can see it's 29,000 times 100 over 116. So 29 times 100 divided by 116. We are getting 25,000, 16%, 16%, we are getting 4,000 here. Next, after the repairs of the delivery van, we have audit fees. The audit fees. So we have 26,100. 26,100. Times 100, we divide by 116, we get 225, 16%, right? Getting that 600, audit fees. Now we have um, cost frights, import. Let me talk about the import here. To import item in a VAT. So, what is the amount? We have 125,000. We are being told in the additional information too here that all the sorry additional number additional number three import duty is at the rate of twenty percent of on the cost. So can you allow me to multiply here with one hundred and twenty percent? So it will be one twenty five times one point one two to get the inclusivity of the import duty. Total will be one hundred and fifty thousand. Then to the tax your amount, which is sixteen percent times zero point one six. Get you 24,000. The next thing that I can see here, um, we have photocopying. The photocopying will be how much? Will be 11,600 times 100 over 116, right? 11,600 times 100 divided by 116. You are getting 10,000 here. 16%, we're getting 1,600, right? That is photocopying. Then we have telephone bill. How much is the telephone bill? 23,200. Right, 23,200 times 100 divided by 116. We are getting 20,000 here. 16%, right? Times 0 0.16, we are getting that 200. Then put the information in Kopali in Aitwa. A debt of goods valued at 50, bad debts. Unaza toa hapa. So our bad debts in Ngapi, our bad debts we are given is 5750. Times 100 over 116, right? 5750 times 100 divided by 116. We are getting 43,750. 
you will understand my my space then we multiply by 16 percent right we multiply by 0 0.16 we are getting 7,000 here we subtract so what will be the total input tax so the total input tax will be the summation of all of these so it will be a hundred minus eight thousand minus my answer uh, we add 12, we add 4, we add 3.6, we add 24, we add 1.6, we add 3.2. So how much would be this? Meaning we part of the wrong answer. So let me see. One zero eight nine twenty. How much? One zero eight nine twenty. What about one thirty three four hundred? One thirty three four hundred. But remember, every time you're going to be see something called exempts, right? Exempt cells you have to restrict input taxes, right? Every time you take part of an exam, restrict input taxes, the part of an exempt. The part of an exempt always restricts. So how do you normally restrict? First, we normally talk about the computation of 10% tests. So you normally take the exempt cells, divide by total cells, We multiply by 100%, right? To get the 10%, we have said tests. So if it is above 10%, we normally talk about restrict. But if it is below 10%, we normally say ignore. So ignore, what does it mean? We are going to directly, in the question we take, the input minus, sorry, the output minus the inputs, right? But in this case, let us try to check on whether it is on the side of restriction or we can be able to ignore and we take the direct, we do the direct uh, subtraction. Now, in this case, how much is our exempt cell? You say our exempt cell is 350,000. How much is our total cells? 1575,000. We multiply by 100%. So 350 divided by 1575, we are getting 22.22%. 22.22%, 22.22%. So in this case, you can say, let us get restrict, right? I can write here, restrict input tax. So how do you normally restrict here? We say, if we want to restrict the input taxes, let us take our zero rated supplies. Take your zero rated supplies plus standard rated supplies. We divide it by the total supplies. We divide it by the total supplies. We divide it by the total supplies. Then we multiply by the input tax. So in simple terms, I just subtract this from my total here. So 1575, right? Minus 350. Here we are getting 125,000. We divide it by the total supply, which is 1575. We multiply by your input tax, which is 133,400. 133,400. So how much is this? So my answer, divide it by 1575 times 133,400, getting 103. 756. So what is our VAT payable? Okay. Work, refundable. So what are we going to be taking here? I will now take 156,000 minus 103, 756. 103, 756. 103, 756.
the ones that fell in back up. So 756. So in this case, I just say 156,000 minus my answer. I'm getting something closer to 52,000. 244. 52,244. 52,000, 52,244. 52, Any question? I have a question on uh, the formula of restrict input zero rated plus standard rated. Mm -hmm. So uh, zero rated, we pick. Uh, the sales exports. Yes, the exports are zero rated. So you can see here. So the zero rated, once you take 250 plus this one, are you getting 1225? Yeah, okay, that's it. Is it okay? Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Another problem there? Any problem there? So if we don't have the question, can we move on? Let's go to question number what? Question 3C. Someone should be reading for us. Question three, see someone to read. Okay, Solomon Chucho is employed as the managing director of Otamu Miras Limited during the year ended 31st December 2022. He presented the following information relating to his income. His basic salary was uh, 120,000 per month, net of pay of 48,000 per month. He was provided with lunch by the employees from 1st August 2022 of 6,000 shillings per month. He enjoyed a medical allowance from the company which is only available to senior managers. The allowance was 12,500 per month. The company paid for him life insurance premiums of 4,800 per month for each member of his family from 1st September 2022. This included himself, wife, and the daughter. During the year, the employer paid a total of 200,000 shillings as school fees for his daughter. This amount was allowed in the company's income statement. He was provided with a fully furnished house with electricity and water. The employer paid monthly rent of 50,000 for the house and deducted 5% of his basic salary for rent. The cost of furniture was 240, while the monthly electricity bill and water bill amounted to 1800 and 1000 per month, respectively. On 1st October 2022, the company provided him with the following Allen Cruiser, which was acquired at a cost of 3.2 billion with an engine capacity of 3050. Our servant in the night watchman, whose monthly salaries were 12,500 and 15,000 respectively. The fair market value was agreed with commissioner at 14,000 per month for each of them. He contributed 15% of his monthly basic salary towards a registered pension scheme, while the employer contributed 10% of his basic salary towards the same scheme. Uh, scroll up. Uh, 
other incomes for the year included, include, sorry, he has invested in the real estate and from his rental houses, he reported a net rental income of 2.4 million after deducting the following expenditure. Caretaker wages for 20,000 fencing cost, 640,000 loan repayment, 320,000. Monthly rental income tax, 4720. Insurance rent and rates to 48,000. Advertising thirty sixty thousand partitioning and CCTV cameras to twenty two thousand repairs and maintenance to sixty eight two hundred totaling to two nine six six zero twenty dividend received from United Millers Cooperative Society was three hundred and six thousand net and interest received from Panaka Bank Limited was two hundred and forty thousand net required. Compute the total taxable, taxable income for Solomon Tuchu for the year ended 31 December 2022. To determine tax payable, if any, from the income computed in C1 above. Thank you so much. Um, this question is not different from uh, the other question which we have tackled there before regards to employment income. But I will be able to pass through it and uh, remind you about uh, what is supposed to be done and uh, what are the key things that you're supposed to be knowing as per our notes. So let me just share my board here. So we are discussing about a topic of uh, employment income. So we are doing an employment income question here. So in this question, um, it discusses about, uh, normally discusses about, um, it is August 2023. Let me just write the question first. Question number 3C. I think it should be 3C there. And then um, the question talks about the computation of the employment income. But the question is for Solomon. We have to be writing our title. It, it is called um, Solomon Who. Let me see. It should be Solomon Chuchu. Solomon Chuchu. Uh, we are discussing about 2022 employment income. Employment income computation. Employment income computation. So give me the first column here. We're not reducing to thousands of shillings. It is not a big figures. So let us start with the uh let us start with the first additional information. We are being told is basic salary. How much is the basic salary here? So the basic salary we are being told is 120,000. This one you multiply by 12. Plus now I can see they have already deducted the pay. So we return it because we normally calculate on the gross. So in this case, we multiply by 48,000 times 12, right? 48,000 times 12. So how much are we getting here? So 120 times 12 plus 48 times 12. I can see we are getting 26,000. 26,000 there. Next, he was provided with lunch. So he has a lunch here. So how much is the lunch? We are being told uh, it was provided from... Um, it was provided this lunch uh, from 1st August, amounted to 6,000. So it will be 6,000 times August, September, October, November, December. It should be 5, translating to 30,000, right? Next one, we have been told, he enjoyed a medical allowance from the company, which is only applicable to the senior managers. And we said, when, for example, the medical allowance is discriminatory, it should be... Um, it should be a taxable benefit. So in this case, he was provided with medical allowance, medical allowance of 12,500, but it was provided for how many months? So we have been told uh, we it, it is per month now. We multiply by 12 here. So 12,500 times 12, we get 150,000, right? Then the next one we'd be told the company paid him a life insurance premiums 
or 48 per month for each member of his family uh, from 1st September 2022. So in this case, we talk about life insurance, premiums, so the life insurance premiums amount to how much? 48,000 per month. 4,800 rather. So 4,800, we multiply it with what? Um, we talk about himself. Why? Those, these are the three people, right? We multiply by how many months? We have been told that uh, 48 from 1st September, October, November, December, we multiply by four. So it will be 4,800 times 12. We are getting 57,600. Right. The next thing there, I can see we have been during the year, the employer paid school fees for each children. School fees. Why are we treating it as a uh, why are we treating it as an employment benefit? Because it was treated as an allowable, as an allowable expense. Right? It was treated in the as an allowable expense by the employer when he was computing his taxable benefit. So in this case, that is where we have been told. It is included. This amount was included in there. Uh, it is already included um, in the company's income statement, amount to 200,000. <clears> Those are school fees. Then the next one we are discussing, it was provided with a fully furnished house. Okay, on a tree of Gina Kwanza, why do you want a benefit? Which we say the furniture benefit normally has 1% per month. How many months you to make a call number? So it was provided with a furnished house. The cost of the furniture was two hundred and forty thousand. Akuna mali to yabi wa liyama. You multiply it with twelve months. So zero point one two times two forty thousand. Getting twenty eight eight hundred. Twenty eight eight hundred. Then also you can continue the same statement where you have been told the employer paid. A monthly rent of 50, we shall be able to check on that when you are computing the, the house benefit. But later, you can go to, uh, you can check on electricity and water. Electricity, we also have water. So how much is the electricity? We have been told um, the cost of the furniture is too while the monthly electricity bill is uh, 1800 Water, how much is the water? 1000 we multiply them with the months. So we have been told that um, <clears throat> we multiply by 12. So this one will be 12,000. Whereas the other one will be how much? Will be 21,600. 21,600. Then you also been told here on 1st October 2022, the company provided him with the following. One, we have been told about a land cruiser. So how much is the land cruiser here? So when you are having a car benefit, when you are having a car benefit, we normally look on the CC ratings. So how much is the CC rating? So in this case, we are being told the CC ratings we are going to be checking on 3,000. So when you give 3,000 here, now would you get it to repair on 1st October? So you can prorate in this manner. So let me share my question first. So that you can see. Kiangalia hapa, kuna magari tumepewa mpaka land cruiser. Per month is 7200, right? So in this case, unakuja hapa unaniambia, mwalimu can we be able to take 7200 here? So it will be 7200 times October, November, December times 3. This one we are getting 21600, right? Then we look on the percentage. So our percentage will be, right, 2%. We multiply by the cost of the of the vehicle. How much is the cost of the vehicle? We are being told the cost of the vehicle is how much? How much is the cost of the vehicle? to angalie hapa, right? The cost of the vehicle. The cost, the cost of the vehicle. Okay. The cost of the vehicle is three point two million, right? Now you join it per month. Two percent is per month. Then you multiply by three months. So how much it is? So in simple terms, you just need to take what? 0 0.02 times 3 times 3.2 million. You are getting 1 in 2,000. In this case, you take the higher, which will be 1 in 2,000. 1 in 2,000 there. A house servant, to my power house servant here. 
How much is our house servant? So the number of house servants in the night man watchman. In the watchman here. A servant and a watchman. So in this case, we are being told uh, a servant, a house, a servant was 12,500. Then if it rise, Anna, 12,500. Whereas the other one is 15,000. All of these we multiply by what? All of these we multiply by, um, we multiply by what? Uh, how many months? Three months. Three months, eh? So 12,500 will be the 7,500. After we compare the market value on the prepare, this one will be the higher on the higher end. So here we have 45,000. You tend, you can choose to take it directly, right? Then from there, uh, we have, um, um, we have been told he contributed a certain amount there uh, towards the pension, uh, towards the contribution. So in this case, uh, we are being told the uh, we are being told what? Um, let me check here. One minute. What are we being told there? Uh, do we have any other thing? Can we be able to call, to calculate our uh, house benefits. We have a problem with house benefits here. Yeah? House benefit you know, calculating your mission. So the house benefit will be fifteen percent of the employment income or benefits. So how much is our employment benefits? How much are we getting? So we have twenty sixteen plus thirty plus thirty one fifty plus one fifty, right? Plus fifty seven point six. Uh, plus 200, plus 28.8, uh, plus 21.6, plus 12, plus 192, uh, plus that 7.5, plus 45. We are getting something closer to 2790. 500, eh? Minus. Uja matu something. Was he paying something? What is the nominal value? So we have been told there, he deducted 5% of his basic salary for rent. So the nominal value will be 5% of 2160,000, right? Uh, 20, is it 2016? It should be 2016. 216,000 there, right? We're going to be checking on that. Then the other one would be, what is the... What is the market value? Are we given the market value? Right. We are being given 50,000. Eh? The market value. We pay 50,000 times 12 minus the nominal value. Right. How much is the nominal value? So it will be 0 0.05 times 216,000. Getting a, a thousand, a hundred. Let me just put it here. There will be one uh, something looking like that. Eh? So um, 50,000 times 12 minus my answer. We are getting 499. 200. Whereas 0 0.15 times 2790, 500 minus 0 0.05. Right? 0 0.05. Times, sorry, I don't know, pass of two points of product direct, 100, 800. Getting 317, 317, 775. Between the two, take the higher value. So the higher value will be 317, 775. Hey, excuse us. Yeah. The higher value is for 99,200. Yeah. The higher value. The higher value, oh, 499, sorry. 499, 200. 499, 200. Sorry, sorry. I have 22 layers of the contribution. 
what are we lacing here? What can we do? What? Uh, can we do other incomes? How much is other incomes? Other incomes to Konanini. So the other incomes up are now not to Konavi Tumbili. Now not to rental income. To Konavi rental income Yangapi. Kuna rental income yangapi? Uh, let me 2. see. 2.4 million. Yeah, been told. He has invested in real estate. It's supposed to um, be adjusted. Okay, sorry? Yeah, we have rental income. Our rental income is yangapi? 2.4 million. Indio? Then we add disallowable expenses regarding to rent. Eh? So how much is our disallowable expenses for the deductions which were made there? So he has invested in the real estate, correct? But we have the caretakers, we have the fancy, we have things like uh, loan repayment, is that disallowable? So the loan repayment is how much? 320,000. 320,000. After the loan repayment, what else do we have? Monthly rental income taxes, right? The income taxes are disallowable expense. Income tax amount to 487, 820. 487, 820. We also have insurer rented rates, advertising. We have things like uh, partitioning, right? We have partitioning. Partitioning normally qualifies for capital allowances um, and CCTV cameras of triple two, right? Then we have things like um, repairs and maintenance. I think they are okay. Uh, do we have anything else? So we can just deduct here directly. The the what can we be able to deduct here? We can be able to deduct or with less, right? The allowable expense for WTA for this partitioning. We just talk about ten percent of people too. This will be twenty two two hundred. So how much is this? How much is that? So in this case, it will be twenty four hundred plus three twenty plus four eighty seven. Point eight two plus two two minus two two point two. Are we getting thirty four something? Thirty four zero seven six twenty. Thirty four zero seven six hundred and twenty. Then we less employers contribution. What am I doing? We have another income here. To gonna dividends received from uh, United Millers Cooperative Society amounting to how much? 306. Right. Uh, we are being told down here, very simple, that the dividend received from United Millers Cooperative Society was 306, uh, which is net. Then also we are being told the interest received from... Um, mm -hmm. The interest received from what? Dividends. Dividends from dividends to Nabio Zimetoka. Zimetoka Wapi. Dividends from the Cop Society. They are subjected for further taxation. We are being told is 360,000. 360,000. But also we have some interest received from Fanaka Bank. Uh, the withholding tax at the rate of 15% should be final, right? Uh, the interest from Fanaka, Nasema, final tax, Unaika Dashapo. Then we deduct, what are we deducting now? What are we supposed to deduct here? We are supposed to be deducting things like uh, the contribution. I think it is the only thing that is remaining here. So the contribution which he did, he contributed 15% of his monthly basic salary towards the register pension scheme. 
while the employer, you can easy to link up, but I can write here, employer's contribution, employer's contribution towards pension scheme, not taxable. I don't know whether you can be able to see it. Not taxable there. Then um, we also have, um, what else? So the contribution we are supposed to be looking at, the employee's contribution, the employee's contribution towards pension scheme. Did you come and contribute the whole month or the whole periods? So how much would uh, the employer be able to control or be able to, uh, was able to contribute? We are being told very well here that uh, he contributed 15% of his monthly basis salary. So it will be 15%, 15% of how much? 15% of 2016, right? Then you compare that with the set limits. You come and contribute more Kamzima, let us see. So the set limit should be how much? So he contributed, uh, okay, 240. The set limit is 240,000. So when you take, when you take 0 0.15 times 2016,000, we get 302. 302. Between the two, you take the lower, which is 240,000. Right? What is the total taxable income? How much is the total taxable income? So maybe Nanzia Swaliangu somewhere here. Najoni kona 2790,500 plus 499,200. I think it was again in Kwanimehad. Plus 3407,620. Then we subtract 240,000. So we are getting something closer to 64. 64, 57, 320. 64, 57, 320. Any question at that point? Any question? Now, when you're computing the tax liability, we normally use the graduated credits provided during that sitting. So let us look on this sitting. What are they? Pro uh, what are? Uh, what is being provided here? So in this case, upon Akujana Sema, let us look on the tax payables. Correct. Let us look on the graduated credit during this sem. Uh, during this semester of August, the graduated credit for individuals uh, is being provided there. Uh, which is an annual taxable pay. So the first range is 288,000 times the rate of 10%, getting 28,800. The next one we can see it is between 28,01 and 388. So when we took 388 minus 288, you get 100 times 100 times 25%. We get 25,000, right? Then we look on the balance. The balance will be 64, 57, 320, minus 388, right? This one we multiply by how much? This one we multiply by 30%. Multiply by 30%. 64, 57, 320, minus 388,000, times 0 0.3, getting 1820, 1820, 1, we can talk about a pay. Pay yet to the Kwanga, 14,000 times 12 should be 576,000. We have 
person or relief. The person or relief should be how much? When you look on the person or relief should be 2800 for every employee, correct? Then we have things like um, after this one, what are we supposed to be doing here? Uh, we have the the insurance relief. insurance. So the insurance relief it will be fifteen percent of that amount. So the amount of insurance relief is going up to forty three two hundred. The other thing shall be dividends. 15% of 360,000. Right. So what is your answer here? What shall be your answer? That's how we have to get to Japan. The entry is already to Mesha Ekapa. Mesha Pata Swali. So the first one will be 0 0.15 times 43,200. 64,80. Then 0 0.15 times 360,000, getting 54,000. What is the tax payable? So it will be 1874,596 minus 576,000 minus 28,800 minus 6480. Yes. Yeah. What are we getting here? Are we getting something closer to that? Are we getting something closer to that? Or there is any question? Any question? Someone throw something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. So if we don't have any question, can we move next to the next question? That is how you are supposed to be doing that uh, question of employment income. Right. So we are going to which question now? I think it should be our last question. I have another class at 7.30. Um, I have this question here. Mambomoto Mutoka uh, is a partnership. Someone reads. You give me one minute. Someone reads. Mambo, Mo Mambo Moto and Mutoka are in partnership sharing profits and losses in the ratio of two to one to one respectively. They are statements of profit or loss for the year ended 31st December 2021 was as follows. Gross profit, 4.2. Sale of delivery van, proceeds, 1.4. Expenses, advertisement, 380,000. Depreciation, 148,000. Rent and rates, 120,000. General expenses. One twenty thousand general expenses for fifty thousand value added tax one fifty thousand bad debts two fifty thousand purchase of furniture purchase of furniture six hundred and twenty thousand salary and wages 
900,000 legal fees 540,000 goodwill written off 225,000 interest on capital mambo 80,000 motor 140,000 a total of 4 million 3000 net profit 1.597000 additional information advertisement expenses include 120 spent on acquisition of neon sign general expenses comprise of the following partners india party staff catering services embezzlement by cashier bad debts represented the general provision made for the year legal fees comprise the following parking fees 130 settling dispute with the customer 200000 appeal on tax assessment 210000 investment allowances were agreed at 380000 with commission of domestic taxes prepare adjusted taxable profits or loss of the partnership for the year ended 31st December 2022 Roman number 2 the allocation of the taxable profit or loss in C from and one above the partners. Thank you so much. Uh, this question, uh, we, as we said earlier, we are going to be starting uh, the questions of the partnership. Uh, we do our title. Then uh, the first thing that we have to be computing, it is the uh, the business, uh, the adjusted business income. Remember here, we don't involve uh, the other incomes. So in this case, in this question, what we are going to be doing, um, um, I will be able to start with the with additional information uh, for adjustments. Then um, we normally pick the adjusted or the net profit reported, as you can see in the question. Then we do uh, we look on the items which are not accepted by the income tax act. We add back. So let us do that. Mm -hmm. So in this case, we are discussing about the Mambo Motor and Motor Car 2022 adjusted, adjusted taxable income computation, adjusted taxable income computation. So in this case, we are going to be having two columns. You are going to be uh, two incomes there. Then you are going to be starting with the, the reported profit. So how much is our reported profit? We look on the uh, we look on the data provided by the examiner. Right. So to end up Angalia. So let us look on the net profit of the question. Fifteen and seven thousand. Then we normally add disallowable disallowable expenses right disallowable expenses let us first check on the disallowable expenses like number one uh, when you look on the advertisement expenses we have been told these advertisement expenses uh, include one to spend on the acquisition of the neon sign it is a disallowable expense um acquisition of the neon Acquisition of the neon sign, we have 120,000. That is acquisition of the neon sign. Secondly, we have been told in the general expenses, we have the partners. We have been told we have the partners and your party. Partners and your party. How much is this? We have 150,000. The next thing I can see there, we have the staff catering expenses. The staff catering expenses, they are not a disallowable expense. They are not disallowable, they are allowable expenses. But we have a basement by cashier. A basement by cashier. So how much is the embezzlement? We have been told is 210,000. 210,000 there. Then number three, we have been told the bad debts represent the general provision made in the year. So how much is the bad debts? How much is our bad debts there? Right. How much is our bad debts? Remember they are. 
They are relating to the general. So the bad debt is, is for the question, to me pay one gap, 250,000. Correct. Ah, yeah. As we continue with the additional information, number four, the legal fees comprise the following. One is the parking fines, disallowable. So how much is the parking fines? We have been being given 130,000. Right. Then we also settlement, uh, settling a dispute with the customer. So settling a dispute with the customer is allowable expense, sorry. Then we have appeal on the tax assessment, right? We have tax appeal. So how much is our tax appeal? We have been told this uh, tax appeal is 210,000. 210,000 there regards to that. So in investment allowance, which were agreed with the commission at 380, so it's a total deduct later. So to end the pallet juqua expenses, we start with the depreciation is a disallowable expense. So how much is our depreciation? Our depreciation is 148,000. Right. Um, we have rendered rates, uh, general expenses, VAT, disallowable. So how much is our VAT? We have been given 150,000. 150,000. We also have bad debts we have done with them. So we have the purchase of furniture, of furniture, sorry. So how much is the purchase of the furniture? The purchase of the furniture is 620,000. Correct. Then we have salaries and wages, legal fees we have done with them. Then we have things like good, goodwill written off. Goodwill written off. Uh, goodwill written off. So how much is the good we written off? 225,000. Correct. We have things like interest on capital. We said they are disallowable. So the interest on capital, 80,000. Mambo is 80,000. We have moto. Moto ya kona ngapi? 140. We do our additions there. Then we said here, can we be able to less non-taxable incomes? Non-taxable incomes with stroke allowable expenses. So non-taxable income took on a lean. Very simple here. So let us start with the allowable expense. We're going to capital allowances. Our capital allowance is Ningapi. There is an additional information down there. Discussing about the investment allowance was agreed at 380. Then to nine apale kwa income. So we check uh, which items for income ziko pale. So to kona income yote, to kona anything to be deducted there. Uh, then we have the sale of delivery van. It's an untaxable income. Sale of Delivery. Sale of a delivery van, we have 1.4 million. So PIE to Tahati Pali. Can you see how the question is very simple? Can you see how the question is simple? So down here, we have 17, 80,000 to be deducted. Correct. Then up there, we have 120 plus 150 uh, plus 210. Plus 250 plus 130 plus 210 plus 148 148 plus 150. We have things like 620 plus 225 plus 220. Are you getting 24 33? 24 Once we had, what are we supposed to be getting here? It's normally called adjusted business income so how much is the adjusted business income 2433 plus 1597 minus 1780 we are getting 2250000 and i said hakuna mali so hapo hakuna other income so na so in this case unaenda kwa allocation shade straight up straight away unaenda kwa allocation Unaenda kwa allocation schedule, right? So, tukona watu wanajiita aji. Tukona MMM, I think. 
So we should be having things looking like this. And then here at the end, we put the totals. The command is visible up to that point. Let me check. That B cycle sour. Ah, yeah. So, um, so what are we supposed to be putting in here? Here, we talked about the salaries and wages. Uh, we have uh, other things, but what is key here? I can be able to see we have interest on capital. How much is the interest on the capital? So the interest on capital now, like we call our two away there for Mambo and Moto, it will be 80,000 here. Right? 80,000. Uh, what else do we have? 80,000. We have 140. Upper to make a dash. Then you can make 220,000. Then we, 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 we deduct, or we can be able to look on the profits, stock loss, sharing. Then upper chino naikanganini, the business income. Right? How much is our business income? Someone to confirm for me whether this figure is correct. Someone to confirm. Someone to confirm kindly. Is twenty two fifty correct? Hello. Can you confirm? <laughs> Mary. So. Yeah, it's correct. Thank you. Okay. So in this case, upon a question, and you get the business income, you have only to go So I say, wanna share for some happy. Wanna share how much? Two to one. Two to one. Two to one. Two fifty and two 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 twenty. Senior, you know, wanna share twenty thirty? Are we together at that point? Yeah. Because we share our money, we are So in this case, we are not going to what was the sharing ratio? It is two to two to two one. Uh, two is to one one. Correct. So this translates to four. So it will be the first one will be we. It will be two, two divided by four, times twenty thirty. We are getting ten fifteen thousand. I am getting up one divided by four, times twenty thirty thousand, getting five or seven. Five or seven, five hundred there. So total happening up in a UAE, five or seven, five hundred. So five or seven, five hundred plus one, forty thousand. We have another six hundred and forty-seven, five hundred. Then ten, fifteen thousand. Eh, plus eight thousand. We should be getting ten and five thousand. Then in five thousand. Tunge kwa na other incomes other than the kapa. Other incomes. So unge kuja weke apa. For example, unge kwa na rental income. Unge kuja you apportion it uh, to each individual. Sindio. And many more other incomes. So uh, what is the total taxable income? Here? What is the total uh, taxable income? Here we have ten and five thousand six forty seven five hundred five or 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 seven five hundred. Do you have any question at that point? Any question to that point? So we have only two questions. Uh, we have only two questions remaining in this sitting. That is 20, oh, sorry, uh, question four. It should be 4C or 4D, uh, where we have been told using the information provided above, 
advise the proprietor of bright traders on its turnover tax position and the turnover tax liability. That one we'll be able to do in our next class con uh, compared to also to question number 5C of the uh, way asking us about the investment allowances. Investment allowances. Tukifika hapo, siyo ni kama tukopabaya. Tukifika hapo, I think we are good to go. Is that okay? Yvonne, to see me up, Sindio. Hello, Yvonne. Yvonne is not. Yes, here. teacher. I'm okay. okay. I'm in. Okay. So mm -hmm. let us stop at that point. Um, I think others are 